the coordinates of endpoints of QS are given by those points there. Uh, point R is on QS such that QR and RS is in the ratio of 1 to 2. What are the coordinates of point R? So what we're going to do is we're going to draw this um, points Q and S relative to one another. I want to say Q is located over here which is negative 9 comma 8. I know it's kind of strange that I'm not drawing a coordinate grid, but really the coordinate grid, I feel it's kind of um, an impediment here because you can, you can um, do all this work without having any other distractions, without having any other axes present. So an S is 9, negative 4, which is going to say, I want to say it's going to be over here, 9, negative 4. So this problem is actually a similar triangle problem in disguise. We're looking for a point R that will partition this line segment into uh, ratios of 1 to 2. So it's going to be closer towards Q than it is towards point S because we're talking about a ratio of 1 to 2 here, right? So meaning, I don't know what the, um, the length of QR is. I want to call that N, right? If that length is N, then RS must have a length of 2N. Or we can say the full length of the of line QS is uh, therefore 3n, right? So we're trying to figure out what R is. And to do that, we're going to form these triangles here. Remember what I said? That this is actually a similar triangle problem in disguise. And if I drop a line down, we form two similar triangles. Now, I don't know what this smaller triangle is. I want to call this dimension here x. I want to call this dimension here y. I don't know, well, actually, I do know. I do know the full length of the big triangle, right? The full length of the big triangle has a length of 18. Because if I take 9 minus negative 9, that is a horizontal uh, distance of 18. What about the vertical component? If I take 8 and subtract by negative 4, I'm going to get 12. So vertically here, I have 12. So if you look at this, okay, my goal now is to try to figure out what is x and y. So how are we going to do that? Well, I know the following. I know that um, 2n is to 3n. You see what I did there? Right? The hypotenuse of the small triangle over the hypotenuse of the larger triangle is going to give me a ratio of two-thirds. Therefore, I can say x over the large triangle, right, I'm talking about the horizontal component there, is 18. x over 18 is equal to 2 thirds. And the same thing could be said about the vertical component. 2 thirds is equal to y over 12. And again, what is allowing me to set up these proportions here? It is the fact that I'm dealing with two similar triangles, right? How do I know they're similar again? Well, that's because these two triangles, where if I have RS versus the big triangle again, QS, right? Both of these triangles share angle S and they both have 90 degree angles. These two triangles are going to be similar based on angle angle theorem. So anyway, getting back to the problem, I need to figure out what x and y is, right? So I have 2 thirds is equal to x over 18, which I wrote over here uh, on the upper right-hand corner there. I'm now going to solve for x. So again, 2 thirds is equal to x over 18. I want to multiply both sides by 18. So I'm going to get x is equal to 18 times 2 thirds. And what is that? That's actually 12. I'm going to do the same thing. 2 thirds is equal to y over 12. So therefore, y is equal to 12 times 2 thirds. And that's going to give me 8. 
So our goal is not to figure out what x and y is. Our goal is to figure out what is coordinate r. So if you look at this, um, my coordinate s there is 9 comma negative 4. So from s, I'm, I'm going to have to move uh, horizontally to the left by uh, a value of 12 to the left, and then I need to go up from s8 units. So where will, that, where will that land me? So r will therefore equal to... I want to go to the left of... Uh, from 9, I'm going to travel to the left, so I'm going to do 9 minus 12. And then from negative 4, I want to go up, so I'm going to go add 8. So what is that? That will be negative 3, comma, positive 4. That's my, those are the coordinates for R right there. And which option is that? Negative 3, comma, 4, that would be option 3.